a fan favorite returns over in Epcot, and Disney cast members could eventually strike if Disney doesn't start playing nice in the sandbox. Find out more on this 5 Minutes of Disney. What's going on guys? I'm Mr. Tech Bot, and this is 5 Minutes of Disney, where everybody has 5 minutes to talk a little Disney. Don't forget, if you like this content, hit that subscribe button along with those post notification bells. And before we get to that, I got some exciting news because I got something added to my collection that is awesome. I have Snow White. It is huge. It's the movie poster for the 100th anniversary. This thing is ginormous. So I'm excited. I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but we're going to find a spot. Over in Epcot, Okoye Pearls reopens in Japan Pavilion. This experience has been closed for three years since the COVID pandemic, but the small shop reopens with cast and members thrilled. Of course, Okoye is a small shop inside the retail shop inside Japan Pavilion, where for 1878 plus tax, you can pick out an oyster that contains a pearl. You get to choose your oysters from a huge tank and the cast will open it for you. In most cases, the pearls are typically whitish in color, but in some cases, guests have pulled the rare pink one. Definitely check out this spot if you're going by the Japan Pavilion. A new Tron inspired snack stand has been installed outside of the Tron ride location. The stand has been seen when people have been riding the people mover and it looks like they're still adding pavers to the front of the stand. There has been nothing announced as to what will be inside the stand just yet, but I am hoping we'll see the Tron Light Cycle popcorn bucket with the light up wheels that was originally sold in Shanghai Disneyland which is the first location of the Tron ride. But stay tuned, as I get news of what is gonna be inside this snack stand, I will let you know. Recent negotiations between Disney and the Service Trade Council Union, or STCU, resumed this week after 96% of the cast members voted to reject the offer to the $1 pay raise last month. As the union is trying to move the now $15 an hour pay to $18 an hour pay, Disney is not budging and is refusing to add a cent to the current proposal. In fact, the STCU says today's proposal is even worse than the offer already rejected. Now, the STCU represents the frontline cast members that you see in the parks totaling around 42,000 people. Now, this is not a good look for Disney as the image of the Walt Disney World Company around the world has been, they've been trying to change it already and get it back to where it once was. In fact, Universal took a recent jab at Disney by passing a $17 an hour pay increase for all their team members. I'm suspecting that Universal is trying to steal some of that Disney trained cast members away. And to be honest, I would not be mad at cast members for doing it. They need to do what is best for themselves and their families. It does not seem that as if Disney is caring. Let me know if you think that Disney should pay a respective wage to the frontline cast members in the comments down below. For you frugal flyers out there, there's a way to go to Disney World, to Disneyland, and from Disneyland to Disney World, you can save a little bit of money. Breeze Airline is now introducing an introductory offer of $69 one way for the new non-stop flight from Orlando International Airport to John Wayne Airport, which is only 15 miles from Disneyland. After the introductory offer, the prices are expected to go back up around $119 to $199, depending on bundles that you choose. Maybe you add baggage fees, maybe you add a little bit of leg room in first class. So make sure to check out Breeze Airways for your next trip from coast to coast. It may just save you a little bit of money. Well, that's all I got for you guys today on this 5 Minutes of Disney. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I love talking a little Disney. It's my favorite thing to do. If you like this content, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment if you have any questions, concerns, or want to make a statement about any of the topics we've talked about, as well as don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with those post notification bells down below. As I always like to say here at Mr. TechBot, do what you like, do what you love, and always, guys, never forget to unleash your inner nerd. Y'all have a great one. Later.